What if we rethought gender? What if we were curious, not angry, about gender? Curious about why social expectations are the way they are today? Why certain people don't fit into those expectations? And how we can all learn and grow? Not angry that things have changed in the last few years, that some people ask for your pronouns, or that there may be terms or labels you don't know. How about we challenge the idea that sex is about biology and biology is just a fact? Because biological sex is actually as socially constructed as anything we do. Boy and girl are categories assigned at birth based on genital appearance. Sure, bodies are different, but sorting everyone into two sharply different boy-girl boxes based on genitals, that's on us. There could be 10 categories based on our jobs, not our genitals. Or seven categories based on hormone levels. And while we're at it, could we reconsider binary gender at birth and write intersex people back into the story? Acknowledging that some people don't fit into our need categories. Some people have a vulva, but internal testicles. And some people have a penis and XX chromosomes. Some have a vagina and breasts, but more testosterone than estrogen. Did you know that there's a similar number of intersex people as red-haired people? That's one to 2% of the population. But did you also know that there are thousands of so-called gender normalizing surgeries that happen each year. Usually not necessary for the health of the child and sometimes leading to physical and psychological pain. International courts have condemned these surgeries. So why are we holding on to assigning a gender binary at birth? What if we rethought sorting kids into blue and pink boxes full of pirates and princesses? Anger and empathy. Beer and wine. Lust and romance. Football and housework. Right from birth. Because this actually impacts their development. Kids who are encouraged to play with toy building blocks develop different parts of their brains than children encouraged to play with dolls. What if we recognise that there's nothing natural about the gender roles our society has for men and women. Otherwise, how do we explain countless past and present examples showing our binary is just one of many options? Surely, if gender binaries were actually tied to biology, they would have remained the same throughout human history and continue to be identical all over the world. What would society look like if definitions of masculinity and femininity were flexible and liberating? If things like rocking nail polish and wearing sexy lingerie and lifting weights and being romantic or not romantic and crying and parenting and leading were free from stigma and open to everybody. What could happen if we recognize that non-binary and gender fluid and intersex and agender are terms designed to unlock cages, not reinforce them? That those labels aren't threatening anyone else's identity or demanding anything. They're an invitation for all of us to self-define and forge our own paths, to be free. Whether we meant to or not, we've all internalized the gender binary. We often judge how intelligent a person is, how empathetic they are, how much money they earn, who or how they should love before we've even got to know them, just based on their gender. And that sucks. Let's fix it. Mm. What if we rethought gender on an individual level? No gender identity is less natural or real than any other. What if we recognize that sometimes people's gender identities align with the gender they were assigned at birth and sometimes people's gender identities don't? Both are cool. But crucially, everyone has a gender identity and that includes man and woman. And could we, as a society, be mindful that folk whose gender matches their sex assigned at birth are the norm in education, medicine and media? That they don't need to come out or get medical statements or constantly have to convince strangers that their identities are real. What if we understood that things are even harder for people of colour, disabled people, people who live in poverty? People who have so often been on the front lines in challenging and redefining expectations. But have so often been overlooked in the narrative. 
and left to struggle alone. What if we work towards fixing these struggles together? And how about we listened? Properly listened to those around us. Made an empathetic space so our friends or co-workers or children can talk to us about their identity. Let them know that they'll receive love and support. What if we fought for a world in which gender can be joyous and beautiful and hopeful and powerful and free and yours? What, what if we rethought gender? gender? What if we started now?